Hello everyone and welcome to a uh, Robinson's Rumble clip with a slight difference because I thought I'd uh, show you what I basically use for filming the uh, the guides, the vlogs, the, the thing of Mor uh, Morocco etc etc and what I'll be using hopefully in the future as well. Uh, more than likely we'll be upgrading a little bit, fingers crossed if, um, yes, <laughs> if uh, budget permits. Now, so everything I've got here on the table is pretty much what I take in my uh, backpack for the, um, yeah, for the guides. So first up, I bought this, come here, there we go. Uh, a three axis gimbal, I uh, basically bought this for the camera I am shooting on now, the Sony uh, ZV-1. Um, I'm English, that's why I say ZV rather than ZV. Um, I re do remember a while back, I, try to do a there's, there's one walk i filmed which i didn't put together just because it was terrible <laughs> i i had the the camera again that i'm using and uh, i put on a normal uh, selfie stick and then walking up and down it was so juddery um i just couldn't do anything with it so i thought i'd buy uh, the gimbal as well i do use the camera not as often as i used to last year and i'll explain now uh, what i'm uh, predominantly using uh, in a few short moments, but I do use uh, this for sort of like sometimes just nice sweeping shots uh, with, with the gimbal of course as well and uh, it comes also in this very nice box right here and in the very nice box as well it can have, once we pick it out, oh, various attachments on the gimbal such as uh, this as well which can be used as a tripod so, that's a straightforward. So I do use that from time to time. Uh, I think the one I used this predominantly, the gimbal and uh, the Sony, was for my Wharton Crag walk. Uh, if you find on the uh, channel there, it is. Uh, it was a lovely walk. It was a lovely walk. But then again, that was a take two as well, because again, the uh, the Sony camera that I have here, uh, it has a heap of different options. And I went on to um, somebody's YouTube channel for like the recommended settings and I went through this and I went through that and then I find out the uh, ISO on it was far too bright and then I came back. It was just, yeah, everything was just covered. It was white. It was terrible. So uh, I, uh, I need to, you need to learn all of these things, certainly. So also, of course, I thought I might as well film the, uh, yes, the camera that I'm using for this, which I've used from time to time. It is a wonderful camera though, uh, sort of like a vlogging standard one, the Sony ZV-1 uh, there. It's an ooh, yeah, excellent 4K camera there, 2.7 uh, optical zoom, it has a touchscreen uh, panel which you could uh, just see going blah. Uh, heaps of options from macro, sports, night scene, steady shots, timers. Uh, you name it, I have still got a lot of uh, learning for that one, but it is a good camera. The next uh, thing I do use and I love uh, practicing with is uh, the drone. Uh, it's just a, a little uh, light uh, 249 gram DJI uh, Mini 2. It's um, a wonderful little beast. I uh, got, basically, I've still got the gimbal protector on here as well, but. If you, you may or may not notice or see on there that I've got one of the uh, ND filters as well. These come uh, extra, which I uh, bought on uh, Amazon. And then ND filters are very handy as well for, um, if well, you know what polarizing sunglasses can do. Uh, basically, it's that same effect. It's uh, on there, very, very handy. Um, it's not, again, it's sort of like the, the mid-range for the, the light ones. There is the uh, Mini 3 and the Mini 3 Pro for DJI um, there. But it is, uh, yeah, it uh, does 4K. It's, uh, it was within my budget. 4K up to uh, 30 frames a second, 2.7K um, film in 60 frames a second and full HD in 60, up to 60 frames as well. So if you wanted to do action shots as well with it, it's, um, it's great. It's a really, really nice little thing, and I want to use it a lot more. It is a bitrate as well. I have uh, been finding with the exporting uh, stuff that, of course, the higher the bitrate when you put uh, you want to put your film together, the better the quality of the film to an extent. 
and I know the DJI, uh, the Mini 2 at least, I don't know what the Mini 3 does, goes up to about 100 um, mega, um, megabytes per second for the bitrate. So it's quite good, it's quite good. It does, it does really well. And I'm sure within uh, this clip, I'll be uh, adding in little uh, sort of uh, examples of what I've done uh, with it as well. So that is that. Um, comes with the, uh, yes, remote control as well. It's got the sticks in there somewhere. And um, these are handy things because basically you just, uh, yeah, pop your phone on there and in it goes. It is very, very handy. Although I believe, is it the Mini 3 or the Mini 3 Pro actually has its own screen as well. Um, which, if I could afford it, I would love to get that one. But uh, this is absolutely fine. Next up is uh, something I would be using right now. Uh, but of course I wanted to show you uh, what they are anyway. Uh, here's some wireless microphones as uh, well that I use. These, again, it's sort of mid-range best or best of, a, best of the budget bunch, I would uh, say. I had a look about, again, looking on what other people said on YouTube, etc, etc. Uh, are the uh, Sonic Cake Wireless Lavalier microphones. I just, every time I say Lavalier, it's always in that Lavalier. Because it sounds right. Uh, these are wonderful. These are wonderful. I know Sonic Cake, they normally do uh, guitar pedals, uh, but they've uh, gone into, yes, the wireless microphone market as well. One mic, uh, one receiver. It uh, comes with a, hu a few different things, including a little uh, dead cap cover as well, uh, which I talked on my uh, Buttermere walk uh, about. Lovely name for it, but uh, yeah, sort out because doing walks. It can get a bit windy, uh, so that is a very, very handy thing to do. Uh, different, um, different bits as well, different wires that uh, connects in the things. Something I bought separately was uh, this tiny little thing here, which is a, a microphone adapter for my 360 camera, and I bought uh, this as well, which this is basically goes between the selfie stick and the camera, and uh, the receiver just slips on nicely like that. All very nice and straightforward. Very, very nice. And the yeah, the Sonic Cake uh, mics do come in this very, very handy case. Nice hard case for handy things. So that's that. The next thing I uh, found was very handy uh, when putting things together, uh, particularly when I went over Morocco, because I was going for a desert trek. I was staying overnight in a camp. I had a clue if they had any electricity, uh, anything to charge, phones, cameras, etc., etc. So I bought a, a power bank, which I never really knew the invention of uh, until about a month or two ago. Uh, very handy thing. This is like the solar power, uh, pan um, yeah, power bank. It, uh, solar panel does a certain amount, but you do, yeah, just need to give it the proper juice anyway. And this, I'm trying to remember the specification for it, but I do know it does at least uh, five full charges on the phone, so it is full of uh, juice and uh, very handy for the cameras and whatnot of when you're going out and about. Because, of course, when you're taking lots of shots, uh, it drinks up a lot of juice in the batteries. Yes. Uh, my newest toy. Uh, Toys, aren't they? It's um, a wonderful thing uh, which I uh, bought recently, which is uh, the past couple of ones the Buttermere walk, uh, a lot of uh, Morocco as well, has all been filmed on this little bad boy the Insta360 X3. I, I love this thing and I want to do a heck of a lot more with it. Just learning through, oh, and my Lancaster walk as well. Sorry, I'm just running through my head but with the walks I've been doing on it. But I've just I've been learning uh, different things for, uh, for this as well. The not just the modes on it, which has a sort of star lapse. The video itself is 5.7K, which yeah, on the on the outside it's like wow, that sounds amazing. But it's not 4.7K, of course, for just you know this shot that you see. Like for example here, it's for the whole 360 degrees, the 5.7K. So it's sort of outputs. At least 1080p, at least 1080p. I, I normally try to upgrade it as much as I can uh, possible on the editing uh, stuff and try and put it up to uh, 4K. Uh, but yeah, 5.7K for 360 uh, videos, uh, 72 mega megapixels uh, for 360 photos. Uh, it's wonderful. It's got active HDR as well, if you don't know what that means. 
active HDR sort of uh, picks up the sort of the light and the dark a little bit more, sort of give it a bit more strength. Uh, for it that some cameras could miss out on so that is absolutely wonderful it does have um, well I bought this the the 1.2 meter selfie stick uh, to go along with it which I will try and screw in at the same time here which again because it's got two lenses on either side it sort of stitches out um, the selfie stick itself so when I'm walking about all you can see is sort of like the shadow uh, of the stick but you can't actually see the stick so uh, yes yeah, it's got the selfie stick you saw the clip as well for the wireless mic that pops up here it's got a great uh, touch screen as well it does uh, have the uh, the app uh, which the star lapse uh, video you may have seen on the uh, Moroccan desert trek you need the uh, app to um, put the star labs together, I uh, found out. But predominantly, it's sort of like a two-stage edit editing process uh, with this one. Got onto the editing uh, suite, so of course you need to keyframe all the shots you've been doing if you want any panning shots or anything, any special effects to it. And that's what can uh, yeah I can do that. So I've got 1.2 meter selfie stick for the usual stuff when I'm sort of just presenting and whatnot. But I bought what I found out, the joys of um, Morocco, they prohibited drones, so I couldn't take the DJI um, in, since 2015. Oh, fair enough, I won't take it. So I purchased this bad boy instead. Notice the difference. Um, Insta360 do a three meter <laughs> selfie stick. Short! A three meter selfie stick which is fantastic. Uh, that is about 100 quid though. And it's not something I was wanting to pay for. So I had to look about again on the joys of uh, Amazon, found this. It's a 2.7 meter selfie stick. Uh, so it's 30 centimeters less, but uh, 40 quid, 40 quid for carbon fiber. Should try and get it out. Here we go. See if we can get it out without the camera falling off. I'm sure there's more to it, but Quite far away, and if I just wanted to do the camera, <laughs> it's quite a big one, is what we're trying to say. So that is wonderful. Uh, I haven't used it up in the Lake District uh, yet. I plan to very, very soon. And of course, with such um, lenses that pop up, that lens cap, always have that darn lens cap on. Other things are used, well, the editing, I again, I'm a bit of a beginner, so that's why I'm, I'm still using uh, the InShot app uh, on my phone, which I want to get into DaVinci uh, or something of that ilk for my uh, PC, so I can just be a bit more relaxed as well. So in the meantime, while I'm getting all the footage onto SD cards, and then I need to put it on my phone, I'm, SD card reader. It's been a very handy thing where it's got like a USB-C uh, thing on there, standard uh, USB on there. It, it's been very, very handy. And that's about it. Uh, that is all I've got at the moment. I am looking forward to a bit more sunny weather. Be nice. I haven't been able to get warm since I got back from Morocco. Uh, weather with decent enough light for a decent enough shot, uh, which I want to do. Uh, Malham is uh, a plan for me. I've never been over to Malham. It's only about a 45 minute drive from where I live here in Lancaster. So I want to do Malham. Uh, Malham, Ingleton Waterfalls. And then again, if there are any uh, particular walks that you want me to uh, go on, uh, just give us a shout on the uh, comments, please. Uh, let me know if there's any particular walk that you uh, may have heard of and you haven't gone yourself. And it's like, oh, Jace, could you uh, yeah, have a look on there? So uh, there we are. Uh, oh, what wonderful timing, of course. <laughs> My mum's calling. Thank you so much for listening. I hope this has been insightful of uh, what I have been using for my walking guides. Give us a like, give us a subscribe, and I'll uh, get some more walking guides on. Thank you very much. Ciao for now.